Welcome to our thought for today, for today, Wednesday the 7th of June. We're looking today at uh, Philippians chapter 1, uh, verse 21 to 30. We'll do it in two parts this week and next week. I think it's fair to say that in life, most of us try to do the right thing. We want to do what's right. Uh, and when we come into a relationship with the Lord through Jesus, that sense of doing what's right is sharpened in us. In the sense that we're transformed by faith so that we no longer want to do, to do just what's right. We want to do what's right for the furtherance of the gospel. That desire in knowing Jesus should be in us to proclaim the gospel. So Paul helps us to think through this. He says in Philippians 1 verse 21 and 22, For to me to live is Christ, to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful, fruitful labour for me. The phrase that Paul uses here is the very essence of what he's about. To live is Christ. And so we are to live for Christ in every aspect of our lives. It is the very essence of what we should be about. He is in effect saying that everything in his present life is for Jesus. Therefore, Paul makes it very clear, both in what he says, but also in the practice of his own life, that we can do nothing else but surrender ourselves to the Lord Jesus. In one sense, taking the Bible as a whole, it's what we were created for. To live for our Lord, to praise his name, to live for his purposes. His purposes are best laid out for us uh, in Jesus. If we want to understand what the Lord wants us to do, we need to look to Jesus. That purpose tells us Jesus is God's way for us. In Jesus there is all truth, and only in Jesus is there real life. That's why Paul can say that to live is Jesus and to die is gain. Because having lived a life surrendered to the one who surrendered himself for you, there's nothing for us but gain as we attain the life that is promised to us in God's word. Even though our earthly life may be taken from us, we have a life that is eternal. No one can rob you of that. It is the promise to you through Jesus. For to me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. Through the blood of Jesus, we're able to come into the everlasting presence of our Heavenly Father. Counted as clean before him. Our sin is dealt with. It is forgotten because the penalty is paid. I need to ask, have you surrendered your life completely to Jesus yet? Is your life centered on him alone? Are you giving your all for him? Let me say this. It's very easy to say that. It's a lot harder to do. And we all struggle with it. So don't beat yourself up over it. But it is what we're to look to. It is what we're to do. The Lord asks for our all. Half-baked is not our way in Jesus. To die is gain. Paul describes this as far better. Why? Because it is the ultimate goal of the Christian to be with Jesus in the kingdom of heaven, to take up our place that has been prepared for you, lovingly prepared at such a great cost. It's that cost that drives us. It's that cost that helps us to understand that Jesus comes first. So we're to live for Christ, honouring him, <clears throat> hearing his word <clears throat> and proclaiming his word as we look forward with certainty to the hope that is ours in him. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your gift to us in Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that Jesus surrendered himself completely to the cross and that in him we have life. Help us, Lord, to live our lives for him, understanding that the fruits of our labour are our response of praise to him for all that he has done. 
You've prepared good work for good works for us to do. Help us to live in them. To honor Jesus and to proclaim him as Lord. In his name we pray. Amen.